Plastic Model Builders. Hi, it's me, Ari Stone, with Plastic Model Builder. This is the very detailed weapons bay of the Tamiya F-35A Lightning II in 148 scale. It is the highlight of the kit. What we are doing, you see this looks assembled, but it really isn't. I tacked everything together just for painting purposes because it's very detailed and I wanted to be able to reach some of these detail parts easier. So I put on a primer coat and then I am painting this a flat white color. Um, it does get a little bit of paint on some of the sides, not exactly what you see there, but I wasn't exactly sure how it went together. So I just wanted to cover all the bases and make sure I got it good. So you see that wonderful flat white color there, it's going to dry. And we are going to take this apart, as you can see, just loosely held together. And we are going to start painting all these details. So first, apply the decals where they are needed. You might want to cut a hole in the center of that one. That way it is easier to apply. There's a second decal there and a third on this. By the way, I forgot to put that on in this video to the actual plane. So now detail. You're going to use black, silver, flat red, flat yellow, and a light blue color. So you see all this going on right here. We are going to show you all of it. Yes, that's right, all of it. I do get a little messy in some spots. That's okay. Some of this is not going to get seen. So you could see there are a lot of little... Um, pipes and things like that on this aircraft in this bay area but like i said earlier this is the highlight of the model by the way i do have a facebook group which is plastic model builder you can find that join it i love having subscribers on that as well you know you are watching my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe comment and like if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button and also make sure you allow alerts that way you know when a new video comes out that i do every two weeks sometimes i go live when i build a model as well so you can watch that i do a live chat and with the premiere of each video Sometimes I'm on, sometimes I'm not. It just depends on how life allows you because, you know, sometimes I forget about my own video premieres. Either way, we are doing that. Um, you can see this work here, it's very tedious. I'm still learning to do a good job with the paintbrush. So all you uh, keyboard warriors, go easy on me, please. I know you do exist and you're out there. I encounter you plenty of times. So, like I said, little details here uh, just take your time with it go slow the weapons bay pretty much matches pictures that I've seen there might be a couple of things that are a little different in the f-35a versus the B or the C and even maybe newer versions of that aircraft because it is now getting a little bit older I'm not exactly sure how long it's been out but probably a lot longer than we know uh, you see where some of these hinges will go in these spots. Slowly painting on the flat black color of this. After the flat black is painted on, we are going to work on the silver color that goes on certain parts. So if you keep watching, you will see us do that. This plane turns out wonderfully. Uh, like I said, there is just one part I forget to stick on this. And I think we'll survive. It is on the finished aircraft. I just didn't do it on this video because, well, I forgot about it. And I think I even forgot about it when I actually sat this down into the fuselage. But I was able to get it on there eventually, which is the important thing. So you got this right here. Some of these parts go completely black on top of them. Uh, some parts have little red dots, which are very, very hard to get on. I managed I don't know how I managed and I'm going to show you that later as well with those little dots uh, get a lot of yellow um, clamps on here this right here as you can see it is the side I wouldn't say the side front or rear I'm not sure which of this entire weapons bay you got two front and rear sections on there that will go onto this or one I don't remember which it is Either way, you're going to see me assemble everything, so that's good. So we've got that right there, making that look pretty as well. Clearly it is one, 
because you see that side right there is already complete. That is the rear right there. And I know how all this goes. Maybe it's the rear, maybe it's the front. I don't remember. Either way, it's already got one side that stays on there. That's how this was designed. And you have to put the other one on. It also fits into the plane very nicely. But you can see I am doing that silver bit right now. Uh, just little tubing areas right here. Take your time. Make it look pretty. It's model making madness. Knock on wood. This one was, it took a lot of time to do this weapon space. You got little silver components right there. And some of these areas get little like, just little red dots. As I said, I don't know what all these little things are, but it said to paint them silver. So I painted them silver. And after we are done with all this silver, we're going to move on to yellow. Uh, the there get like I said the harnesses get a lot of yellow on there a couple of red stripes we get some yellow as well on things I don't know what they are they go on the opposite side of this they're individual pieces though I'll show you both of those got some little grading there that gets painted that you just saw little buttons again don't know what all these things are and that's okay to not know because I'm not familiar with the plane, but I did have fun constructing and painting this thing. And it's incredible. One video dedicated completely to the weapons bay because I am showing you everything that's done with it as far as putting the detail in there. I do not show you me putting this into the plane. I will do that in the next video in the series. So make sure you do see that as you know, I create playlists for all my uh, videos that I have and I feel they turn out very well so you see right here got that going on right there we're going to paint that black a little bit later on so you can see that as well more details you got to get the springs the actuators and things like that for the landing gear just like that as I said earlier make it look pretty and give it some model making madness at least i think we are just about done with the silver color which is a good thing and we can move on to the yellow which is a bad thing because as we know yellow paints horribly got two of these guys right here paint each one that's the first one here's the second one as you can tell one was painted and one was not all right, so now we're painting yellow. Got that little bit there. Multiple harnesses. Uh, they are on the instructions. They break it down into two sections so you can see. It is a little bit hard to get in there and this is why I did this the way I did without all the parts in there. That way I can get to each thing easily without interference. Worked best for me. Uh, you do you, I do me. That's how modeling should be, just as long as you're happy with how things turned out. So continuing on with all the little detail of the yellow, you can see it just, it's like it just keeps going and going and going with the harnesses. I know I may sound like I'm babbling, but that's probably because I am. Did get a little bit of extra paint there, not that big a deal. Got small little areas, might want to use a toothpick for some of them, a uh, toothpick for not. I did use Tamiya colors, by the way, um, not lacquers, but they're acrylics. This is XF number three. Uh, the red that I will use was XF seven. You had XF two, light blue. I don't know if I used light blue or not, or a variant of something and kind of made it work. With what I had, that may have been a color that I did not have. I don't remember at the time. However, we're coming down to about the end of painting our yellows on. Uh, we will pick it up, I think, a little later and put some yellow on some other parts. But for now, all the harnesses are what we need to do. And we will move on to our next color, which is a good thing. Let me just get a couple more areas right over here, as you can see these little details right here on the wiring sections and it's fairly easy to do you got these sections right here 
more little harnesses. I mean, we're coming to the end of the yellow, thank goodness. This here is the part that I forgot to put onto the aircraft, and that's okay, at least in this video. You do not see that. Other than that, we put on everything else. And I got my little shake going on there with my finger, which happens with age. We all get there. So now we've got a, um, a tube of some kind. I don't know. I imagine it's got electronics in there. This will get some yellow stripes and some red stripes on there. Uh, they're mostly double lines. They did a very good job with this as well when they crafted this. Due to technology being a lot better than it was when we first started modeling for people of an older age, I should say. So we got these little things. These go on the outside of the weapons bay. You can see them from the rear wheel well. So that's about one of the only things that gets seen. This is that light blue color. It looks kind of gray in mine. Maybe that's what it is. I don't remember. Either way, or either, I don't know how you want to say it. Not a lot of that gets used, just, just minimal. Got a couple little stripes here, one of the other pipings that go into this kit. And it's kind of like if you see spots that look kind of bare of paint, that's because it is, because I assembled and disassembled and then putting everything together. So there's got a little bit of black left going on right there. And we're going to continue finishing up these little details right here. I think it's a blur. I'm not sure. It might be an off type of gray. That's all right. Don't beat me up, please. We do the best we can. Anyway, so we got this right here. And we are going to finish painting that. And this. Now we are on to my other favorite color, red. Because it goes on so well. And it's so fun to get out of brush. You got all these little tedious spots right here. We're also going to do the other piping. And we have small, little, little areas. And by small, I mean like barely enough to where a toothpick can be used for it. That's how tight it is and how small. And there it is right there. See just little dots that go on here. Very hard to do. I painted this, but it kind of came off later on. No big deal. It was an accident by it coming off. It happens. The good thing is we're getting close to assembling all these components together. So keep watching. So I can show you that. We're looking forward to it. Getting the white stri or the red stripes here. Remember that is XF. Those as well. I know some of them it's hard to see. But I do my best. And I know you love watching me paint like this. And watching whole videos for certain things such as this. Coming towards the end of these pipes which is good. Uh, we are going to work on tiny parts now. So here they are. Uh, two of these things. Got to get the tips of these and then along the uh, side right there. These going down. I don't know what these things are. I'm sure they're actuators of some kind or whatnot. Maybe not. Uh, somebody will be able to tell me what they are. Possibly an engineer a modeler, anybody, if you want to know what those things are, I'd love to know. They go on the outside of the weapons bay because really they are inside of the rear landing gear bays. And I will show you me putting those on a little bit later on in these videos, which is a good thing. As soon as we get these painted, then we can move on to assembling everything. So this is the other one right here. I figure I'm about to put this thing together and make it look pretty because it is the weapons bay, which is the highlight of this kit. Not much left to paint on this. Just got to get these little red stripes here. And once those red stripes are done, we can start working on assembling this weapons bay. So we are going to do that right now. We're going to start with putting in this little piece right here, fits right there. And you've got the rear panel right here. It slides in just like that. Make sure that pipe you just installed fits into the little slot that is on there. Just like that. Now I know that is the rear because the front of this has the intakes 
finally learned which one that piece was just by watching this video myself and editing it. So we're going to put on these little instruments right here, whatever that is. There's one on that side that we'll put another one on the other side later. This is a shine, it's a separator. Don't know exactly what it is. Pushes down, use your glue in there. Make that look pretty for model making madness, of course. Got the silver thing that goes there. We will put another one on the other side. Uh, I don't know what this thing is. Fits right there though, just like in the real aircraft. Then we have this little thing that sits right here. It is some sort of something, I don't know. We've got a rear panel right here. Sits down in there. We've got the other side that we will put in. That slides into place very easy. It, this weapon bay was fairly easy to assemble. Just pay attention to your uh, directions because some things have to go in a little bit out better. I took a pin vise just to drop the um, hole that that tubing sits in there, the conduit, because it was just easier to do that way. Uh, it fits better when it was at least how I did it with the painting. That way it would go in. Then we've got that. Once that conduit is in, we put this small piece in here. This tubing goes in two different sections uh, by however it was designed. So you have your little front portion there. And then we're going to take the bigger portion. It slides kind of off to the side. And just push down on that. And it fits perfectly right into there. I like how they did this because none of the top area gets seen. It's covered by the part of the fuselage. All right, so we put these little things on the sides. Those are going to be hinges for the bay doors. Uh, so to speak, it meets up with the other parts of the hinges that are on the weapons, the actual doors themselves. So we put in one piece there. Of course, that other silver thing is going in there. Another kind of separator, what I don't know what you want to call that. That goes in. Make sure it looks pretty. Put in this thing. They're all things because I don't know what they are. And you can see the one spot up at the top there where I miss, where I forget to put in a piece. So this here is also a hinge. Uh, you can see that's where it will fit. And then this will be a hinge as well. Got these things that go in the end right there. One more on the other side. Like I said, that is the rear landing gear. This is pretty much your weapon spay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like. And of course, as always, until next time, see ya!